Welcome to Operation Nano Swarm. I am your host DJ Son from Charlotte's R6. In today's video, we're gonna be going over how to use Miss Nano Swarm herself. So in today's video, we're gonna be going over how to play her, her loadout, and her uses in the game. And as usual, if you stick around to the end of the video, I will be going over in-game ranked examples of me using her. As usual, I gotta be about it. I can't just talk about it. You know, I gotta actually show y'all she has some uses contrary to belief so i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how that's done but before we get into that it's time for today's question of the day so my question of the day for y'all is if ubisoft announced today that they were working on a siege 2 a rainbow six siege 2 what are some things that you would be happy to see them reveal when doing so what are some things you would add to make siege better or would you just leave Siege as it is? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like and enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Trial Star Six channel. We would greatly appreciate it. But that's enough of me rambling for the intro. We gonna get straight into the guy. Let's do it. All right, so first things first, we gonna go into the loadout. Now, look at this here. She has two guns. One is the UZK 5 gi That's too long of a name, but I like to call it the Lil Uzi Vert. And she has Bandit and Jaeger shotgun. So. As y'all usually know, if y'all watch these videos, I do not run nobody with a shotgun, but this one is more tolerable. Cause this one is not like a pump, it's not a boss G, it's not like, you know, anything like that. I can run and gun around the map and just hit people that I get close to. So I'm more liable to use this shotgun than I am to use like any other shotgun on any operator like Sledge or anything like that. Thatcher is another one. So this one I would actually say is tolerable for you to use depending on how you play. But for me, individually i just like to run a little uzi vert so with this one i try using it with a hollow i don't like it with the hollow it just feels weird to me so the reflex is a lot better just for me personally if you run a red dot i don't really know like I don't, we need to have a chat so you need to go ahead and message me directly and i need to tell you why you should not be running this but for me i run the reflex on her i have a flash harder because like i say that's king and siege if you run a compensator, it's going to be more recoil and muzzle break is just for single shots. So I like to run a flash hider. That's just me. And y'all know I'm Mr. I can't control that recoil. So vertical grip is me. She has an angle grip on here, which wouldn't be a bad idea to run. But just because I'm recoilly challenged, I just run a vertical grip. So she doesn't really have a lot of skins for stuff. So I don't really like maybe they'll add more and I can outfit it more. But that's pretty much what I run on her primary. She has two secondaries. One is the 1911 Tay Cops, and the other one is the C75 Auto. I think Dokubi has this gun as well. But for me, I run this one because 9 times out of 10, if I run out of ammo in my SMG, I'm going to need something that's quick, fast, and in a hurry. And I like fully auto guns just myself. So that's why I run this one on. So for a gadget, she has a shield and barbed wire. These are pretty much self explanatory. If you're holding something, which I'm going to explain a little bit later in the video, you might want to bring a shield. But if you're more of a, like a roamer and stuff like that, you could just set the barb down close to sight and then you could just go about your day. So it just depends on how you want to play. But that's it for her loadout. Now we're going to get into her uses and basically how to play her. So first, I'm going to explain the type of role that Thorn is pretty much used for. So her role is pretty much she could be an anchor and she can be a roamer for she can pretty much do both. And I'm going to explain how. So the first thing is using her as a roamer. So for starters, you can place your swarm grenades around like the area you're roaming in. For example, if you're playing coastline and the site is hookah billiards, you can take your swarms with you, roam the penthouse and VIP area. That's pretty much a heavy traffic area when you're defending that site or when the attackers are attacking that site. So doing this correctly and not taking fights you're not supposed to, for example, just ego peeking because you just want to take fights and to get picks and stuff like that. Like I say in a lot of my videos, Siege is not just about who has the most kills on the scoreboard. Because you can have the most kills on the scoreboard and still lose the game. So using her in the capacity of like locking down that area when you're roaming and using her in the correct way will run down the clock so the attackers start to scramble because they have so little time left to get a plant down. This is the reason why I would take two storms with you and have one on the default plant spot. Because when time runs down and the swarm goes off in the default plant spot or something like that, that can either grant you a kill from the plant denial or make it so the enemy has to move and stick the plant out and somewhere in the open. For example, behind the couches and hookah is a default plant spot and hiding it behind the door or hiding it on the bar or hiding it on the couch itself in hookah or something like that can make it so they have to run back outside or over to the rotate hole. And then whoever's playing on the cool vibe stairs or by the vase is able to get that easy pick and y'all win the round. 
you know, in the perfect world, that's pretty much how stuff will go. So the next thing is using her as an anchor. And it's the same type of thing, but this is more of like an area of denial thing. And when I say this, that means you're either playing close to site or you're denying entryways to the site itself. A good example of this is on consulate. A lot of people like to just go ahead and swing in the window and get a plant down on CEO when that's the site that the defenders are holding. So placing one mine under the desk in the CEO can deny attackers from just swinging in the window and getting that plant off. And also you'll have diffuser down in the situation like that. So that puts the attackers in a very tough spot by making that play. Or if they try to push other areas at the start of the round and they start to push that late in game and they try to swing in and get a plant. Same thing as I explained before, you get that kill, the bomb is down, you, they can't really swing in and get another plant off, boom, you went around. You know, again, in a perfect world, that's how things will go. But that's just one mine uses. The other mines could be placed on areas like visa stairs, break room doorway, but it has to be down low because someone can just repel on the window and shoot it if you put it above the door, and that's a waste of utility, so we don't really want to do that. And you can take another one and put it on yellow stairs to aid a smoke if you have one playing there. So these are all good spots for her utility. Her gun in most situations feels good. So that just comes down to the type of player you are. You don't have to worry about, you know, taking fights because her gun is bad. It's just the fact that if you can get that pick or not, or if you should peek that or not. That's pretty much how you play her gun. And with as with every operator, you should have that type of mind state. So you don't really have to worry too much about that. So before we move on to the next part of the video, really quick, I want to give a shout out to today's video sponsor, and that's Root Insurance. With Root Insurance, you can get a rate primarily based on how you drive. Good drivers can save up to $900 a year with Root. So be sure to download the Root app today and see how much you could be saving with Root. And you could save hundreds, so be sure to get it. But with that being said, Let's get back to the video. She can also be used in the same kind of capacity that Smoke is. For example, holding Elbow and Oregon with her shield, Jaeger ADSs with my magnets, her nano swarms, it's the same type of setup you would have if a Smoke was playing there. Smoke would just take the place of Thorn in her swarm grenades. Or you can have a Smoke play there and use her swarms by giving them to him, and he's able to hold Elbow and run down the clock even further by using those swarm grenades to deny time also with his smoke canisters that denies more time and then you could just go ahead and do your thing and roam upstairs and try to get a few picks the more i think about it ubisoft actually did a good job all around with this operator because there's a lot of ways that you can use her and i just explained like three in this video alone i've heard people say that she's useless but in reality i just don't think she's being used in the right capacity if you ask me People tend to just put swarms down and just forget about them like they're a capcom trap or something. Now, while they work in the same type of capacity, they're not really the same type of thing. You can't play them the same way. You will put a capcom trap down or two capcom traps down on a doorway and just go about your day like nothing ever happened. But Thorn's utility is best used when you can either hear the sound from where the enemy is pushing from, you use it to deny plants or plant denial spots like the one I went over on consulate, or you can use area denial spots like I went through on Oregon by playing them. Or you use her utility for area of denial by playing them near her shield like I explained in the elbow example on Oregon. Or holding a surfer room on bank is another good example. Using her in those types of ways, I guarantee you will start seeing some results by playing her in C's. Trust me, I've tried it and I'm going to keep up my promise. I'm going to show y'all actually how this is done in a ranked game. Since y'all stay to the end of the video, you know, I got to be about it a little bit. You know, like I said earlier, I can't just be telling y'all, hey, this is how you play her. And then, hey, guys, that's that's it. No, we don't do that around here. Now, I'm going to get into an in-game example and show y'all how she's play. But before I get into that, we have a team skin in the store right now. So go ahead and snatch that up if you like it. Hope y'all guys enjoy. Now, we're going to let the clips play. And I will catch y'all when these rounds are over. He Black Can I make it across? In. Where was Blackbeard? Right. Yeah. Over by the window. I can watch that game flat. Right. He's coming towards the door. I let him. Oh, she's going out, so nice. Nice 
Nice job. GG, GG. Oh! Hey, there's an ulcer here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DJ, I'm sorry. Oh, you dealt with it. Yeah, I'm good. He finally doing something? Nothing. I'm not gonna get some Thorin clips. Okay. How to play Thorin. It's no operator. He's OP. Yo, you, you that not gonna put that word in for the Charlotte scene? You boy, you goaded. Why, why, why should... There, is it. Getting hatches? Oh, that was... I need some kills too. Nah, you good. Kills don't matter, I see it, so... So I know this is a new operator and people are still looking to find different ways to mix and match and play her, but that's pretty much what I've learned in my experience of playing her since she's came out. And hopefully from watching me playing this operator and explaining how to use her in games, hopefully this provided some insight to y'all as well. Let me know also if there's anything you found out by playing her in the comments down below. And if you like and enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Astral Star 6 channel. We will greatly appreciate it. And if you want to see more from me, you can head over to my channel. All of my socials are at DJ Sign. I'll pop it up on the screen so you can see it. And you can look on the Astralis channel and see what else we have for you to make you a better player. You know, we're study putting out guys and different types of content to go ahead and improve y'all guys' gameplay and stuff like that. So go ahead and check it out. See what we got for you. But that is it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Good luck in your ranked games and I will catch y'all next time. Y'all go be great and have a good one. Peace.